Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video here on FBL Now. Today we're going to be going over my final team selection for game week 32 and any transfers that I'm thinking of making as well. So if you're excited for the video, drop a like down below, leave a comment, what are your plans for the next game week, subscribe if you're brand new and let's get into the video. So, starting things off, let's go over how I finished game week 31. If you didn't see yesterday's video, we were not in a very good place at all. We were currently on 14 points. We had Van Heck coming off the bench with six, but we had 20 points with, I think, like five or six players left to play. And last night was just honestly a roller coaster of emotions because Gusto getting zero. Bradley scoring an own goal getting zero. Petrovic obviously getting one point. Salah coming off on the 59th minute to get one point, which is obviously two because of my captain. Like, I, I can't believe how bad it went. Like, genuinely terrible. But then Mr. Garnacho, absolute legend, coming off the bench with 14 points, scoring a brace against Chelsea. Cole Palmer also obviously getting a hat-trick, but it doesn't really matter because he's like 96, 97% effective ownership, so it hardly changed the rank at all. But Garnacho, who was like 4% owned, something like that, some massive 14 points. So I did have Garnacho and Van Heck come off the bench with 20 points, which I don't think I've ever had bench jam that much like 20 points off the bench is, is is absolutely ridiculous and i feel like it kind of balances out because i've been so unlucky this week with like the own goals and everything but then i guess the 20 points is also very very nice i mean a lot of people got bench jam this week regardless because a lot of people had crystal palace defenders coming off the bench wolves players coming off the bench um people had uh, i think so some other defenders as well like they're just basically just a lot of bench jam this week so it's not like I'm the only person, but yeah, not a lot of people obviously had 20 points come off the bench. So very happy with that. It definitely saved my game week. Obviously still a red arrow, but I went from like 3.1k to like 4.3. But to say I was like on 8k at the uh, before yesterday's games happened, I, like, I'll take it. I will take only going down a thousand um, places. So yeah, all in all, not bad at all. But yeah, Petrovic getting one point, obviously Bradley getting zero, Udogi getting two, Gusto getting zero. It's good that Gusto starts though, because I've got him for Sheffield United away, so I'm quite happy that he's fit. Uh, Van Heck with six points, Sun with two, Garnacha with 14, Salah with two points, Palmer with 20, Izak with eight, and then Solanke with two. Um, so yeah, not, not bad at all. Obviously not the greatest game week, but I, I can't really complain when I've had 20 points off the bench. The only thing I will complain about is the Darwin goal was so, so lucky. Like, it was just such a bad keeper error. Apart from that, Darwin did absolutely nothing. Um, so, yeah, I feel like it was just one of those weeks. Like, obviously, Arsenal kept a clean sheet. Crystal Palace kept a clean sheet. A lot of people brought Darwin in and he scored. Um, I brought Slanky in this week. He didn't do anything. So, it's just one of those weeks. You know, it happens. It's a red arrow. You have to take him. Um, hopefully, next week is a lot better. So, let's move on to my uh, team selection for game week 32 and this is how we're currently set up so on paper it actually looks very very nice and i do have one free transfer this week with 1.4 mil in the bank and i'll go over that later on in the video but in goal we do have petrovic who's got sheffield united away um so obviously a, a pretty nice fixture they did just score against liverpool though and uh, I'm expecting them to probably score against Chelsea. Chelsea's defense just is not good at the moment. I do not like doubling up on Chelsea defense at all right now. But the fixtures are just there. Like, obviously, I had to play them last night because of the Man United. Like, I just had nobody nobody else playing. But, um, yeah, I, I just have to play the double defense. I mean, if I'm going to play a double defense, I don't mind it being Sheffield United away because it is just arguably not the best fixture. Like, Sheffield United at home is the best fixture. But you're still playing the worst team in the league. So... Hopefully, we can just get a double clean sheet. It'd be massive as well. Like, not a lot of people do own double Chelsea defence, so it'd be absolutely massive to get a double clean sheet there. But yeah, Petrovic in goal. My other option is Onana, who's got Liverpool at home. And, you know, United, I think. I think they had, like, 31 shots against against Brentford, then, like, 28 or something like that so from Chelsea. Like, they are just taking shots left, right, and centre. Great for save points from Onana. But, yeah, the, the, the issues at Man United, man. I'm not looking forward to owning um, Onana for any kind of fixture this uh this season but it is what it is i'm gonna be playing petrovic who's got sheffield united away at the back we currently have bradley who's got man united away and uh Udogi, who's got forest at home and then gusto who's got sheffield united away so obviously i've already spoken about the double chelsea defense gusto is fine uh it could have been like a hamstring injury but it looks like it was just cramp he's fine to play he did come off early as well i think he came off on like the 75th minute so i'm expecting him to start that sheffield united away fixture um so yeah hopefully he can get something I, the assist was a little bit annoying as well like i saw that i, I understand why it's not an assist but it's just another one of those, those things that was like it could have gone another way um for uh, i think it was chelsea's first goal i don't know, I think it was the gallagher goal but either way it's just one of those things like i understand why it's not an assist 
But I feel like other things like that have been given for an assist in the past. But it is what it is. Uh, Udogi, who's got Forrest at home. Obviously a good fixture for Spurs. Um, whether they keep a clean shot or not, I don't know. Forrest haven't been too bad lately. As a Forest fan, obviously I want us to win that game. So, and we need to win it as well. But uh, either way, going to be playing Udogi this week anyway. Because my only other option is Van Heck, who's got Arsenal at home. And then Lascelles, who's injured, who's got Fulham away. And then, yeah, my last defender is Bradley, who's got United away. So, yeah, I think I probably will be making a defender transfer this week. It's just who I bring in. I've got a couple of options that I'll go over later on in the video. But, uh, yeah, it looks like I'll be making a defender transfer for Lascelles. Um, Bradley, like I say, may lose his spot soon. Um, and if that's the case, then obviously he'll have to be a transfer at some point in the near future. Like I say, I'm playing my free hit in 34, so uh, I'll be getting rid of a defender this week. Obviously, the sales for 32 in 33. Um, it could be Saka out for Foden, but like I say, I'll talk about that in the transfer part of the video. But that's kind of the way the team is shaping up. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's the back line. In midfield, I've got Sun, who's my current captaincy, but I've only just put it on him because he's got the home fixture. But I, I, I generally have no idea who I'm going to be captaining this week it could be Saka it could be Palmer it could be Salah Haaland obviously he's just been rested Crystal Palace aren't the greatest team um Palmer's obviously just got a hat trick he's got Sheffield United away you know Solanke he's like they're, like, they're all good captaincy options this week so I, I think it's going to be super super split but yeah I've got it on Sun at the moment but I, I probably will take it off Sun but yeah I've got Sun who's got Forrest at home Saka who's got Brighton away I mean he should be fine for this fixture Arteta did say he was very very close to being in the um fixture against Luton but they just didn't want to risk him so he's had a big rest you know he's had recovery so he should be fine for Brighton away and then we've obviously got Palmer who's my current vice captaincy who's got Sheffield United away obviously going to be playing in this week and again I, I just think he's the best FPL asset this season he might not have got the most points but you know he, he at one point what was he like five mil or something like that maybe even cheaper just absolutely ridiculous like look at his last three games man 13 15 20 I know he's so highly owned but if you captained him for any of those fixtures, like you, you're just laughing because he's just getting double digit hauls like it's going out of fashion. And then my last player is Salah, who's got United away, who obviously always does well against United. So that's another player that I generally could be um, could be captaining. And I think I just get PTSD because I was one of those people that captained Havertz for Chelsea when they beat Norwich like 9-0. And Havertz had absolutely no involvement. And then Salah went and got like was it like a hat-trick against United or like two goals, two assists or something like that? He absolutely went mental. And yeah, I think I'm just getting PTSD from that because I got so unlucky. Like Havertz, not like eight or nine goals and your striker not being in any of them is just ridiculous. And then yeah, Salah going absolutely crazy. So yeah, maybe I'll just go for Salah for that because I just don't want that to happen again. That was an awful FPL week um, for me. But uh, either way, that's the midfield. And then up top, we've got Isaac who's got Fulham away. Haaland, who's got Palace away, and then Solanke, who's got Luton away as well. So, very happy with that up front as well. Like, on paper, the team looks really good this week. Like, I'll be making one defender transfer, which will be Lascelles out, and I'll probably play them over Bradley. So, once I've done that, like, the team looks really, really good. Like, I'm not going to be playing Garnacho or Van Heck this week because I've got Liverpool at home and Arsenal at home. It's just ridiculous to play them. Uh, fair play to them, though, because they've just come off the bench and got me 20 points. So, I know they're back to the bench, but they their time will shine in the starting 11 very, very soon. Like, I may even be playing Van Heck next week, who's got um, Burnley away. And then also, maybe for the... I don't know, maybe for the Bournemouth game as well. I don't know. But yeah, mainly the Bur the Burnley game, I'll definitely have to play him. And again, he's mainly in the team for the double that they will have in 37. And he's just very cheap. He's a very cheap enabler. And he got me six points as well. So I'm very happy about that. Anyway, though, that's how the team is currently shaping up for uh, game week 32. Uh, let's move over to my transfers, though. As I said, I've got 1.4 mil in the bank. I've got one free transfer. And I will be getting rid of Lascelles this week. There's just no point of keeping him. He's out for the rest of the season like i have to get rid of him uh there's a number of different options that i could bring in this week the first one being dan burn they've got fulham away though i don't expect them to keep a clean sheet in that fixture i'd much rather have him for game week 35 onwards when they've got sheffield united at home and then burnley away so i'll have dan burn in for that um kind of run of form plus they'll have a double as well so i'm fine with that uh so he's not really an option the other options obviously i spoke about it in yesterday's video is eight nori who's got west ham at home Forest away and then the Dublin 34 and then Luton at home. But now that I think about it, like, I think it's probably best not to go with him. Like, I, I'll be free hitting him for 34, which is the main week I want him. Like, West Ham at home is obviously a good fixture, but West Ham will probably score in that fixture. It's just how attacking Aitnori is playing. He's playing so attacking. He's playing left wing whilst they've got injuries in the squad. But as soon as those injuries come back, like, he will just be kind of delegated back into left wing back or left back or whatever. And we don't know when that is going to be. 
And uh, like I say, West Ham will probably score. Forest will probably score. And then they've got the double, which I'll be free hitting them in anyway. And then they've got Luton at home. Like the Luton at home fixture, I would like him for, obviously. But after that, like I don't really want him. So yeah, he's got Arsenal at home. And well, he's got City away in 36 and Liverpool away in 38. So it, it just makes sense really just not, not to bring him in. So I'm not, I, I need to be concentrating on game week 37. So I'm just properly set up for it. So I don't think I'll be bringing in eight, eight, eight Nori this week. Again, that could change. But I think the main player that I'm kind of looking at is Gvardiol for uh, for City, who's got Palace away this week. So I would obviously play him instead of Bradley. So on the team selection, just imagine Gvardiol's here, who's got Palace away. So I would play him. And then he's got Luton at home in 33, which I'll obviously want him for. And then 34, I'll be free hitting anyway. And then Forest and Wolves in 35 and 36. And then they double in 37. So it makes sense to get a City player in. As well as that, they do have the injuries. Like, we don't have a real return date for, like, Ake and walker and stuff like that it feels like walker's gonna be out longer but um stones is also a little bit of an injury risk as well so i think vardial is just a safe option and that i mean we'll get early leaks anyway like if he's not in the squad or like if, if he's not in the starting 11 should i say i won't bring him in i'll probably go eight nori but for me it makes a lot more sense to bring him in this week for 32 which is a good fixture like palace away is a good fixture and then 33 i've got him for luton at home and then also 33 is when I can start thinking about bringing in Foden as well. I'll have 0 0.5 in the bank. Obviously, it'll have to be Saka out for Foden, which I'm okay with doing. Like, Saka has been... He's been very hit or miss this season. Like, obviously, I'll be free him in 34 anyway. Then he's got Spurs away in 35. Obviously, the Bournemouth game I would like him for. But they've got no more doubles this, this season. And I feel like I just can go without him. And the fixtures that City have got coming up, like, it just makes a lot more sense to bring Foden in. So I'd be bringing Foden in 33... And then this is what my team would look like in 33. So I'd have, at the back, I'd probably play Van Heck, Gusto, and Gvardiol. I mean, I could play Bradley, but it depends if he's losing his spot. If he's losing, if he's not lost his spot, then I'll probably play him over Van Heck. But at the same time, I, I, I'm absolutely fine playing Van Heck because he's got Burnley away. Um, and then obviously in, in the midfield, I'd be playing Foden, Salah, Palmer, and probably Sun. Yeah, Garnacho probably would be benched again. And then obviously up top, I would just play the, the Solanke, Haaland, Isaac triple up. So... 33 looks really good, and then 34 had free hit, and then 35, 36, we'll see when the double is for Spurs and Chelsea, and then obviously 37 is the big double, and then we'll finish 38, uh, the season on 38, so that's kind of the plan, that's the plan up to 34, so obviously Gvardiol in this week, Foden in next week, free hit 34, and then, you know, after that we'll kind of regroup and see what the situation is, but uh, yeah, that's kind of the 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 way that I'm going to be going really with this team. But either way, that is going to be everything for the, today's video. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like down below. It's trying to 50 likes. Leave a comment. What are your thoughts on your own team this week? Subscribe if you're brand new. And until next time, peace.